We're learning who God is in himself when understanding, knowing what he wants to be for us in this particular moment. I'm never going to get tired of saying this. That God has a grand vision of us to make us into somebody because there isn't a nobody in this room. I've met people who have no idea who they are. I've met people, if they were in a movie about their own life, they wouldn't be the star of it. They're playing a bit part in the movie of their own life. And that's not fair, and it's not good for us. Epiphanies get to become our lifestyle as we live and move and have our being in Jesus. I can't tell you just, it's impossible to describe how much I love Jesus. And it's just as impossible to describe how much Jesus loves me. I just know that I'm profoundly grateful for everything he's ever done and all that he is and all that he will become in the future. And I'm looking forward to everything. You know, I, I came to, I settled something in my heart a long time ago that I would never see life in terms of good or bad. Oh, this is a good day or I'm having a bad day. I choose to see life that every day is a day of grace. And some days you get to enjoy things, you have the grace to enjoy things, and other days you have the grace to endure. But every day is a day of grace. And I've just settled that in my heart. Because I want to be as unchanging as God. I like his unchangingness. That you always know where you are with God because he never changes. He's the same yesterday and he's very joyful about that. So like on your, your worst day, he is the same towards you on your best. That to me is just a gorgeous feeling of knowing that the one who knows you most loves you the best.